Are you serious? Are you serious? Standing right in front of the White House, a man dressed in a hazmat suit saying the CDC is lying, holds a sign that says, Stop the flights. Well, folks, uh, yesterday a passenger died on an airplane that was flying from Nigeria to JFK in New York. The, uh, a man on the flight died after vomiting, uh, had a vomiting fit, and died on the plane yesterday, according to a top lawmaker. Officials gave the corpse only a cursory exam before declaring the victim did not die of Ebola. Folks, are you serious? They don't want to say, obviously they're not going to tell you he died of Ebola. Because if they tell you a man got on the plane and was vomiting violently and died and it was Ebola, you talk about insanity. But I would almost guarantee you 90% that he had Ebola. I'd almost guarantee you that that's what he died from. Now, Representative Peter King said in a letter to Homeland Security and Customs and to the Border Protection that the handling of the remains exposed serious flaws in the airport preparedness for the Ebola outbreak. Between 70 and 100 passengers a day arrive into JFK from Ebola epicenter countries of Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. And Representative Peter King noted that they had access to public restrooms. They mingle with other travelers before first being screened, of course. Well, they're on the plane with other people. Then they mingle with other folks before being screened in customs. Given the high volume of travelers into John F. K. Airport, it is essential that extraordinary measures are taken to intercept possible Ebola-infected passengers while keeping the public and first responders safe. So just shut down the flights. Keep everybody safe. The only people that we should be out of America, flying in and out of those West African nations, are the doctors and nurses that are going there to help and then returning when their time is done. And any of them that get sick, fly them in. That's it. And you can, and they can also supplies, medical supplies can go in with those same medical flights. It's very simple. A preacher from the cornfields of Indiana could solve it in 15 minutes. It's very simple. Why? What is the reason? Who is behind? What is the agenda that we won't protect the American public? We won't shut the borders in, in Mexico. We know ISIS is coming through the borders. We know Ebola is coming through the borders on the airlines. We won't shut anything down that's putting the American public at harm. What is the agenda? What is the agenda? In Washington, um, it's, it is only after they arrived at the Customs and Border Protection preliminary screening location that they're separated and sent to secondary inspection for a medical check and to complete the questionnaire. His letter demands Homeland Security immediately beef up protocol. Just stop the flights! Uh, for potentially infected passengers both in flight and the terminal itself prior to their reaching the screening location. The letter also demands better training, safety equipment for the Port Authority, police, customs, border protection officials who can come into contact with high-risk passengers. Just shut down the planes. The unnamed passenger was 63 